a good morning students we will continue that uh, previous class in that previous class i was saying you about the refraction of light it means uh, the bending of uh, light when it passes uh, obliquely from one transparent medium to another is called as refraction of light i said there you must and should mention that oblique word okay that's very important here i shown that in that previous class also have a look on this diagram diagrammatically also we can conclude when that light ray a o got incident on that uh, uh, surface on that transparent glass material at point o obliquely even you can say this is perpendicular line a o how it looks it got incident obliquely thereafter it got incident obliquely thereafter that ob i mean ob is the light ray which is passing through the glass how it looking that ob looking it bent towards the normal instead of going straight it bent okay this phenomena we called as a refraction of light see here i have written some few things say those of me we call ao as a incident light ray and o we call as a point of incidence then o n is the normal i mean a perpendicular light drawn at point of incidence called normal then next ob ob is which light ray refracted transmitted ob is refracted light ray the next here this angle we call as a angle of incidence that angle we must and should measure with respect to normal ray this is angle of incidence and here i have mentioned one angle angle between a refracted light ray and a normal called as angle of refraction angle between refracted light ob and a normal called as angle of refraction r angle of refraction here one more angle i have mentioned that i represented with symbol delta this angle we call as angle of deviation deviation means what bending what you just look here this ao instead of going straight it gone through ob means instead of being along this path it been along ob means it deviated this much angle it deviated i mean it changed their direction by this angle that angle we call as angle of deviation it bent this much angle to be understood angle of deviation means it is the angle between a refracted light ray and the extended path of incident light ray called as angle of deviation so this is about uh, refraction of uh, light see now later we discuss why that bent towards the normal later here in this class we will see here there are two laws of refraction laws of refraction see look on this first law that first law what we see in, in the reflection here same law is there what is that the incident light ray normal drawn at the point of incidence and refracted light ray all are lying in the same plane what it mean see here this is glass slab okay this is the thickness you imagine this is normal imagine this one as normal this is incident light 
imagine incident light ray incident light ray and this is normal and this beam which light ray refracted light ray look here what i mean to say try to get it. see yes you can see here like this instead of being straight it bent towards the normal this is incident light ray normal and this is a refracted light ray refracted all these three are lying in which plane in same plane right now what i mean to say this is vertically held plane what i said in previous class in the discussion of uh, laws of reflection same this is vertically held plane x axis y axis this vertically held plane called as xy plane now this incident light ray itself is coming along xy plane and this normal draw along y means it is also a part of xy plane and this is a refracted light refracted all these three are lying in the same plane incident light ray normal drawn at the point of incidence and uh, refracted light ray all are lying in the same plane that is the first law of uh, refraction the next uh, second law here i have written that second law is telling the ratio of the ratio of sin of the angle of incidence to the sin of angle of refraction is constant for any two given medium what second law telling the ratio of sin of angle of incidence to the sin of angle of refraction is constant for any given to medium while talking about the refraction we must and should take two medium why because light ray has to come from one medium and it has to enter into another medium there we will be noticing their bending this phenomenon we call as refraction of so while talking refraction we have to take two medium from one medium light ray is coming and entering into another medium there it changing their direction it may bending inward or it may bending outward that depends on from which medium it is coming and to which medium it entering later we discuss it in detail now you just look here what i mean second law telling the ratio of that sin of angle of incidence to the sin of angle of refraction is constant means what just you see here look on this diagram only light ray is coming from which medium air here above glass air medium is there and it entering into which medium glass medium here that light coming from air medium and entering into the glass medium now that the incoming light ray subtended an angle with respect to normal called as angle of incidence that a refracted ray while moving through that glass that also subtended one angle with respect to normal inside the glass slab that angle we called as angle of refraction there is a relation in between this uh, incident incidence angle and refracted angle that they defined as a second law what that relation is that that relation is telling the sign of i mean the ratio of sign of this angle to the sign of this angle is always constant means what so right now you see here suppose 
this light ray AO coming by making some angle, say 45 degree. That AO incident light made an angle 45 degree with respect to north. And it got incident and thereafter it passing through the glass lab. Obviously it bending. I mean for that 45 degree that uh, light ray moving along one particular angle means there will be one particular angle of refraction. That may be anything. If it is 45, you say it is 30 maybe. For example, I is 45 and uh, this R is 30 degree. 30 degree. Then if you apply sine function to them and if you take their ratio, you will be getting one value. I mean sin 45 divided by sin 30. There you will be one value that equal to x. Say it is x. Getting what I mean? Suppose for these two medium only. Now suppose if you send that light, incident light by making an angle 50 degree. Previously incidence was 45 degree. Refraction was 30 degree. Suppose if you make it 50 degree incidence, if it is coming like this, I is 50 degree, for that obviously you will be getting one refracting angle, that may be suppose 35 degree. In second example, angle of incidence was 50 degree and angle of refraction was 35 degree. Now in second case, if you apply sine function and if you take their ratio, again you will be getting the same value as you got in the previous case. Sine 40 by sine 30, how much you got? You will be getting same here in this case, sine 50 by sine 35. In general, yes. Are you getting what I mean to say? For any two given media, that ratio always remains constant. If you be with different different angle of incidence, for those you will be having different different angle of refractions. If you take their ratio with sign function, always you will be getting the same value. That is experimentally observed thing that only they have taken as a second law of refraction. First one also was experimentally observed, all they being in same plane. Second also experimentally observed. So that is nothing but that ratio always remains constant. Here, see here, I have written n2 by n1. Sin i by sin r is equal to constant. Okay. Here I have written n2 by n1. What is this n2 by n1? You look here. n, that n word indicating refractive index. Small n indicating refractive index. That subscript telling of which medium. Getting what I mean to say? So here N2 is there. N2 is a refractive index of medium 2. N1 tell you refractive index of medium 1. Here I will tell you what mean that. Firstly you just look on this one. On second law. N2 is a refractive index of medium 2. And N1 is a refractive index of medium 1. So here that I equal to again N21. What is this N21? It means this telling this ratio even we can write as N21. That N21 telling refractive index of medium 2 with respect to medium 1. See here, what mean that refractive index? Refractive index is one of the property of any medium. Refractive index is one of the property of any medium by which it is going to tell us the 
speed of light in that medium with respect to another medium refractive index means it is one of the property of any medium by that property it is telling us what is the speed of light in that medium with respect to any other medium that we call as refractive index mean speed of light in that respective medium with respect to another medium n2 telling speed of light in second medium n1 telling speed of light in first medium n21 telling speed of light in second medium with respect to first medium means what there you compare what is the speed of light in that second medium with respect to first medium with respect to that first medium speed of light whether it increased or decreased that you will be noticing that just refractive index word telling speed of light in that respective medium just later we come here just look on this second law that ratio is constant that i treated as n2 by n1 again that equation only i have written like this n1 sin i have taken n1 here n1 sin i is equal to n2 sin r this equation this relation we have to call as a snell's law this we have to call as snell's law n1 sin r is equal to n2 sin r this is snell's law snell is a dutch astronomer or mathematician a famous dutch astronomer or uh, and not or and a uh, mathematician he given this uh, geometrical equation that we call as a snell's law okay yes n1 sin i is equal to n2 sin r it's a very important equation in exam they be asking define snell's law at that time you how to define this ratio this second law you have to define it's very important so now just you will leave there after getting these three things you will come to know about that clear so now you come here refractive index i said already it's a property of any medium by that that telling us the speed of light in that medium with respect to another medium you just have a look on this diagram here light ao came from air medium got incident on glass and it passed through that glass medium when moving through that glass medium it bent towards the normal why it bent that question arises there now we have a conclusion for that question see look here refractive index yes telling speed of light next absolute refractive index yes before this to just one thing i will tell you this note point here i have mentioned rarer medium and denser medium what this rarer medium and what this denser medium means see here the medium in which the speed of light is more is called as rarer medium to say more or less obviously we compare its speed of light in one medium with respect to another there you will be in those two in which medium their speed is more that we call as rarer medium the speed of light in which it is less is called as denser medium in which medium that speed is going to be more and in which medium it is going to be less question arises obviously 
when the speed of that light is going to decrease and when it is going to increase you see here now air is there here air this ao is coming through the air medium when we compare air with glass what we can observe here in that air all medium obviously made with the smallest constituent particles called as atoms or molecules when we concentrate on glass and air medium in air molecules are too far away molecules are too far away atoms are too far away when you look on glass in glass those all molecules or atoms held very tightly very tightly i mean in that uh, respective glass more molecules or atoms are there when you compare those number with uh, atoms present in uh, air what you notice number of atoms in glass are more compared to the number of uh, atoms in that surrounded air medium when light entering into these two medium what will happen when light entering into air light itself being with the smallest energy i mean that being with the small energy packets called as photons that light being carrying the small energy packets called photons that carry when light is moving through this air medium this light particles are heating with the air molecules here the air molecule number is less that's why the collision of light particles with air particles is less so there is no much loss in their energy there is no much loss in their energy when this light enters into that glass what happening when this light entering into that glass medium there it going to hit with the more number of molecules or atoms these light particles are experiencing much more collisions because of presence of more atoms those atoms are firstly absorbing this light energy and they re emitting the molecules of that glass going to absorb this incident light and going to re emit see here because of this much collision and because of this time delay absorption and re emission that's why see here the speed of this light ray going to get decrease when it entered into that medium in which more number of molecules and atoms are there getting what i mean to say two medium i discussed air is there and glass there here less molecules here more molecules when light traveling through this less molecular medium it suffering less collisions no loss in their speed when it enters into this this glass medium it suffers more collision so there is absorption re emission of this light because of this the speed of that light is going to decrease speed of light got decrease here in this case speed of light is more in air medium and speed of light got decreased in that glass medium so that air we call as which medium rarer medium and that glass we call as denser medium denser means a medium in which speed of light is less rarer means a medium in which speed of light is more are you getting what i mean to say that's why that light ray went towards the normal it that light ray moved from rarer i mean air to the denser i mean to the glass it bent towards the normal because it lost their speed because of loss in speed that light ray trying to 
occupy the shortest path. If it is moving like this through that, it will take a long path. When the speed, speed got decreased, that light is trying to occupy shortest path. That's why that light ray is bending. The shortest path is possible only when it is bending towards the normal. Because of loss in speed, light ray through that denser medium trying to occupy the shortest path. That's why that bending towards the normal. That is very important point. You see here, in this first point I have mentioned that. What I have mentioned, see, look on this first note point. Here, above this line, above this interface, this line you treat as an interface. Above this I have mentioned rarer medium. I mean, above that one medium is there. Below one more is there. That I have mentioned as denser. In this first case, light ray is moving from rarer medium to denser medium. When light ray is moving from rarer medium to denser medium, it is going to bend towards the normal. It is going to bend towards the normal. Already I said, when light enters into such a denser medium, it is going to lose their speed and trying to occupy the shortest path. That's why it is bending towards the normal. You must and should keep in your mind. When light is moving from rarer medium to denser medium, then that light is bending towards the normal in that denser medium. This is first very important point. Now we look on the second point. Here again, this line you treat as the interface, separating two medium. Above that line, denser medium is there. Below that, rarer medium is there. I mean, here in this one, light ray moved from air to glass. Air to glass. In this one, it is moving from glass to air. Glass to air. Glass is denser, air is rarer. So, when light ray is moving from denser medium to rarer medium, it, uh, it is going to bend away from the normal. Look on this one. Instead of going straight, it bent away from the normal. Here this is normal in that air medium. A light which is coming from that glass, instead of going straight, it bent away. See here this is normal. Initial part is like this, but it bent that side. I mean it bent away. Why that bent away? See here. Light was in denser. Their, their speed was less. When it entered into rarer medium, their molecular concentration being less, its speed going on increases. That's why that is going to occupy the longest path. Because of that, it is going to bend away from the normal. These two points you how to remember? Very simple. First one, when light moving from rarer to denser, it is going to bend towards the normal. When light is moving from denser to rarer, it moving away from the normal. Why I am saying again and again? Because while drawing the diagrams, later further in upcoming classes, you will be going to draw the diagrams. While drawing the diagrams, you have to be very careful. You have to mention the incident light ray, incident point, normal and thereafter you have to represent there how that light is moving, whether it is bending inward or whether it is bending outward. You think that if light moving from rarer to denser, you should mention that bending inward, bending towards the normal. If light moving from denser medium to rarer medium, there in the diagram you have to show light is going to bend outward. I mean moving away from the 
नॉर्मल 